Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Welcome to r slash am I the butthole. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to start with this little picture from r slash blurst images. I've honestly got no idea how something like that can happen. But anyways, our first potential butthole for the day is user slash throwaway 2128. I'm a 50 year old female and my husband, 52 male, had an affair not long after our first child was born. We now have six children. This was 21 years ago. The woman who he cheated on me with reached out six months into the pregnancy and asked for help. We gave her 900 pounds and paid child support every month. The court ordered amount, which I will admit was barely anything, 10 pounds a week. My husband wanted nothing to do with this woman or this woman's child, both trailer park trash as he called them. This girl, she reached out recently, she's legally an adult so my husband ignored her. A few months pass and she comes to our house, she's pregnant. We sat down and talked, apparently not too long ago her mother, who would be 40, passed away. I don't think it's fair for her to continue struggling. I want my children to have their sister and I want her to thrive. I grew up in a wealthy family, I was spoiled, as was my husband and maybe it's 21 years late but I think we owe this child something. I offered her a monthly allowance to help us look after our children, 6, 10 and 11. My husband gets home and now we're in a heated argument about how no matter what I should have asked him. This is his child and his choice. Normally I'd ignore him but even our eldest child, 23, agrees. Am I the butthole? I mean, as much as this should have been a joint decision, OP, you really did a good thing. So I've got to say, not the butthole. Our next potential butthole is user slash Chenik. Today, I dropped off my dog to get neutered. He's a six month golden doodle. This was part of a puppy package of care, which covered all necessary shots and wellness checks and culminates with neutering and microchipping. I came back a few hours later to pick him up. While receiving the aftercare instructions, I was informed that they pulled out a few of my dog's teeth by the vet tech. Our conversation went something like this. The only thing not covered by the puppy package is $20 for the two teeth we removed while he was under anesthesia. So if we can settle this up. Excuse me, you removed teeth? He was here for neutering. His two canines were starting to come in, but the baby teeth were not loose, so we removed them. It's very standard and what the vet regularly recommends. Well, you did more than recommend it, you went ahead and did it. I'll be right back. Now it's important to note that I don't care about the $20 charge. Had I been contacted and told that they recommended this, I would have of course went with the vet's recommendation. But come on, at least act like I'm involved in the process rather than making me feel like I'm being suckered into a forced upsell situation. A few minutes later, she came back. I spoke with the doctor and we're going to discount the $20 since we did not consult you first. It's not about the $20, I'm more concerned about the fact that I came here for one procedure and without any conversation or discussion, you expanded the scope of the visit to include tooth extraction. It was necessary. If we were to have done it in a separate visit, it would have been $250. I'm not concerned about the money if it's necessary. I'm concerned about not knowing about it or approving it beforehand. It's a very routine procedure, we regularly extract teeth while puppies are under anesthesia. If it's so routine and done so regularly, why was it not discussed at one of the many prior visits or even this morning? You know, if we didn't extract the teeth, it could have led to issues with alignment, bacteria and other complications. I'm not debating whether the extraction was necessary, I'm upset that I was not consulted first. I'll be right back. This time, she brought my puppy back with her, I thanked her and left. To be clear, I was not trying to be rude, difficult or cheap in any way. But I got into the car with my poor sedated pup, feeling like I was being rude, difficult and cheap. I spoke with a few co-workers after I got back to my office, but I could use some other opinions as well. So, am I the butthole for being peeved about surprise tooth extractions during neutering? I mean, I'm sort of split between this one, but sort of leaning towards ESH because really, the vet could have done a better job. Either calling OP or talking with them about it in one of the prior visits that tooth extraction is a possibility. That would have stopped the situation in the first place. But at the same time, I feel like OP did overreact a little and was being a bit of a butthole to the vet tech, so yeah, ESH. Our next potential butthole is user slash send neck. So a few weeks ago, my friends and I planned a New Year's Eve party. 
It was supposed to be a small gathering, only about five or six of us. We made a group chat and planned what we would each bring. Me and the other person were bringing the alcohol. We all decided that on the 28th, we'd all be going out into town together to buy outfits and food and all the other stuff we needed. It gets to the 27th and nobody has mentioned that we're going out. I text the group chat and one of the girls says that we aren't going out anymore. Fair enough. So I message another two friends who are also going to the party. I message them both directly and ask if we can go out still anyways since I really need something to wear. Side note, I often feel insecure around them because they make fun of what I wear a lot of the time. One of the friends ignored me and the other said she was busy, so I just decided to go out myself and buy something. That exact day, everyone said they were too busy to go out with me. I see photos on various social medias of all the people in the group chat going out and buying clothes and generally having a nice day together. Obviously, I'm angry, so later that day I confront them all and they just apologised and said it wouldn't happen again. Thing is, this type of thing has been going on for a couple of years now. I ask if we can all do something, they say no, and then they all do that thing together anyways, just without me. It started to really annoy me, so I told them I couldn't go to the party today, and now they're all mad at me because there won't be enough alcohol. And now I feel terrible because I may have just ruined their party when I could have just let it go again. Honestly, I would like some more info for a bit more context on this situation. The way OP puts it, definitely not the butthole. OP is clearly being used, not considered a friend, and is just a way to get free alcohol for this party. On the other hand, OP themselves could have been a complete butthole to these people and that's why they don't want to hang out, but even then, they should just be straightforward and say, hey, look, we don't want to be friends. Our next post is by user slash objective original. My son is almost 17. This Christmas, we bought him an expensive computer gaming chair as he plays a lot of online multiplayer shooters. My son has some anger issues, which he's currently in therapy for, and these shooters tend to bring out his temper more than normal. However, for the past few months, he's been keeping it together well, so I figured the chair might be a fair present. I was wrong, because the day after Christmas, he was gaming, started to have bad luck, and apparently people in game were messing with him because he was losing his patience. This culminated in him screaming insults and then picking up his chair and slamming it into the ground, breaking the back of it. After talking him down, we had a very serious conversation about him no longer being allowed to play multiplayer games while under my roof until his therapist feels comfortable with his progress, talked about coping mechanisms, etc. However, I made it very clear this was unacceptable and he would be grounded. We've had these heart-to-hearts many times, so it's not like every time he has an outburst I'm making light of it. It's a serious issue and treated like such. However, when he came to me later that day and told me he'd like me to replace the chair because it was a gift, he really liked it. And it would only be fair. The frustration, disbelief and disappointment in his behaviour boiled over. And I started laughing hysterically. As in full laughing fit. Barely able to breathe or talk. The more he'd plead his case, the harder I'd laugh, repeatedly asking him how it was fair in his mind to have me replace a gift I paid for that he broke in anger. This obviously annoyed him even more, which led to him getting emotional, but I just couldn't seem to stop myself. I tried walking out the room and asking him to drop it, but every time he'd say, but I need a chair, or what am I supposed to do now? I'd laugh again. I tried explaining to him that I'm not laughing at his feelings. I'm laughing at how absurd it is for him as a teenager to expect me to replace stuff that he can't be bothered to treat with respect, and then whine about it when he broke it. He's still mad about it and feels slighted. I feel bad for laughing and honestly wonder if I had some sort of mini stress break myself because it's never happened before and I couldn't seem to stop. But at the same time, I stand by the fact that his request was ridiculous enough to make most people want to laugh. How badly did I F up? Look, as much as laughing may not have been the best parenting technique, not the butthole OP, because your son is 17 years old. 
A 17 year old should know that you don't just smash stuff. And honestly, if you replaced the chair OP, I think that would just make matters worse and just bring out even more entitlement in your son. Our next post is by user slash I'm not the butthole. I was born when my parents were both 19, and my only brother, let's call him Josh, was born when they were 42. They divorced shortly after Josh was introduced to the world. He was four months old at the time, and they both wanted nothing to do with the child. At the time, I was 23 and I was living alone with my then girlfriend who was 21, now my wife. And I did my best to convince at least one of them to take care of young Josh for his sake and for the family's sake. But they refused adamantly and I said that I should be taking custody of him instead. So I became legal guardian of my brother and he's been living with us for the past 12 years. And things have been going really smooth for us. Josh, now almost 13, has been calling me dad and my wife mum and our two children, four female and nine male, his siblings, and he has absolutely no idea about his real parents. And to be honest, I let all of that slide. He has no idea that I'm really his blood brother and not his father, and I'm starting to feel guilty and a little weird. Some of my uncles and aunts come to visit occasionally, and they're really disgusted at the fact he calls me dad. And they're surprised I haven't told him the truth. They constantly message me, talk to me in private, and I can't chat to them without this one particular topic rising up. Badgering to let him know already, but I refuse. I discussed this with my wife, and she thought it would be wrong to tell him the truth, because none of my parents wanted to take care of him, and I'm the only person in the world who gave him the father figure everyone deserves. I feel that he has the right to know what he is to me and what I truly am to him. But he's suffered enough already and I just want things to continue how it is. Reddit, am I the butthole? Would I be the butthole if I let him know the truth? And an update from OP. About 70% of the comments are advising me to tell my son who I really am. And some are saying sooner rather than later. I've just got up to discuss this with my wife and now after a lot of hesitation, We've decided that it's best that the truth comes from us, and it has to come now. Right now, it's late for us, but we shall address this to him first thing this week, or even tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Honestly, I don't know what to say here other than you're not the butthole OP. I think you're doing the right thing. Honestly, if you want advice, you really should speak to an expert, a therapist or counsellor who knows what they're dealing with and who can help you break this to your son in the easiest way possible without ruining the relationship you currently have. All right, everyone, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for Reddit videos every second day. But with that said, that is it for me. I hope you all enjoyed, and all I want to do is see you all here next time. See you later, guys.